Hi, welcome to Books with Lexi. In this video, I'm going to be seeing if I have similar reading tastes to my friend Michelle. So I decided that I wanted to see if my friends on booktube and I had similar reading tastes or not. And I'm so excited that the first person I'm doing this with is my friend Michelle from Michelle's Library. Michelle and I immediately became super close, even though we tend to pick up different genres. Michelle has read a lot of YA. Recently, she has been moving to adult romance, and that's not typically my genre. So I sent Michelle three books and she sent me three. Two of them were five stars and one was not. <laughs> so Michelle's video will be linked below so you can see the books that I sent to her and what she thought of them. So I'm gonna be reading these three books to see if our tastes match up. And also I'm going to predict which one I think Michelle hated out of the three. And then at the end, we are going to be doing a buddy read of The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. So I think I explained everything okay enough. And in the next clip, I will be watching Michelle's video she sent me to figure out what books I'm going to be reading. Okay, Michelle just sent me the books that I'm going to be reading for this video. I'm a little nervous, but I do predict there will probably be a romance in here, but other than that, I really have no idea. Hi, Lexi. Okay, um, I'm so excited for this project. I think I picked three good books. Um, in order to stay neutral, I am going to just read the description of the books on Goodreads. So here we go. The first one is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. Thou shalt not kill a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. Now Scythes are the only ones that who can end the life and they are commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. Citra and Rowan are chosen to apprentice to a scythe, a role that neither wants. These teens must master the art of taking life, knowing that the consequence of failure can mean losing their own. Next is The Dry by Jane Harper. A small town hides big secrets in this atmospheric, page-turning debut mystery by award-winning author Jane Harper. In the grip of the worst drought in the century, the farming community in Kiwara is facing life and death choices daily. Three members of a local family are found brutally slain. Federal police investigator Aaron Falk reluctantly returns to his hometown for the funeral of his childhood friend, loath to face the townsfolk who turned their backs on him 20 years earlier. Next is Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. In the pre-dawn hours in a distressed American city, hundreds of unemployed men and women line up for the opening of a job fair. They are tired and cold and desperate. Emerging from the fog, invisible until it's too late, a lone driver plows through the crowd in a stolen Mercedes running over the innocent, backing up and charging again. Eight people are killed, 15 are wounded, the killer escapes. So, that's it. I'm very excited for you to read these. I'm also so excited to buddy read with you. Buddy reading has become like one of my favorite things to do this year, especially with food, booktube friends. So very excited for that. Let me know what you think about these. I think I own the dry. Oh, I do. Interesting. Hmm. These are all books that I have interest in reading, but none that are on the top of my TBR. Interesting. Hello, sorry about the uh, interesting angle. You are currently propped up on a wine glass on the wine rack thing. Um, but Michelle sent me a book and I'm gonna open it. I opened this part. I told her to just send me whatever, but I said I was really into horror and thrillers. I'm so excited for this one. I think this has to do with serial killers. Yeah, the mutilated bodies of several missing girls began to turn up in a small Maryland town. The police assume that there's a serial killer. This is merging psychological horror and true crime. And I cannot wait to read this. So Michelle, thank you so much for sending this to me. Okay, I wanted to update you on a few things before I got too far. 
I am 36% into Mr. Mercedes. I just ended at a big section break. I'm not loving this. Um, so at the very beginning, this unknown person is in a car and runs into and kills a bunch of people who are like waiting at a job fair or something. And then we are getting kind of alternating-ish chapters. One is from a now retired detective that started off on this Mercedes killer case. And then the other one is from the person that we are assuming is the Mercedes killer. He claims he is. This is just not what I wanted. The perspective of the detective is fine. Like it's pretty slow, which is typical of Stephen King, but like I also don't care about the plot that much. And then the perspectives from the person we're assuming is the Mercedes killer, I hate them. Like it's constant use of the n-word, oh this fat blah blah blah, like it's not great. And I know this is an issue with a lot of Stephen King ones. I haven't read a lot from him, but the ones that I have read have not been this bad. It's just, it's not, mm, it's like constant. I think that's one of the big problems for me. It's not like it's every once in a while, it's like every single page. <sighs> and the plot so far is not enough for me. Not having a great time. If we are being honest, I would DNF this if I was not reading it for this video. So sorry. Um, I'm also like 80 pages into the dry. This is set in like farm country and this guy apparently killed his wife, his one child, and himself. And then his friend from the past who is now like an FBI agent, but like for money, um, has come back and has started helping the local cop investigate this. I'm not loving this either, but like it's feeling like a three star, so not bad at all. So those are my two updates. So far, I'm enjoying this one a lot more than Mr. Mercedes. <laughs> talking to you because I feel like I have nothing to say about these books. So actually, I just finished The Dry by Jane Harper. This felt very average for me. Like, I didn't dislike it at all. I mean, I do think it was a little on the boring side. I wasn't invested. I wasn't flipping through pages to like get to the end. The ending was fine. There were definitely some unrealistic things that happened, which like, whatever. So I, I wish I had more thoughts. This is a series, apparently, I will not be continuing. This is set in Australia, which is kind of fun. I think I would read more from this author, but I'm not in any rush. I also think I prefer more scary thrillers as opposed to a detective or a cop or FBI, whatever, trying to solve this case. So I am glad that Michelle gave me this because I actually owned this. I don't know when I got it. I don't know where I got it, but I'm glad to be reading things off of my shelves. And then the other thing to update you on, I am like 56% into Mr. Mercedes and I am not liking it still besides the initial like first couple pages i feel like not much of interest has happened until very recently something happened and i was like oh but other than that i'm just not i'm not having a good time if we're being honest so i think i have like three hours left at my listening speed to finish this and I want to finish it today because honestly I just want to be done with it so I just got to this like new chapter section thing I'm not sure if there's any more but if there are I'll update you at those and if something happens and if not I'll probably talk to you at the end I am 70% into Mr. Mercedes 
um, it is getting better. But like, I didn't want to read all of the first half of it. I feel like things are starting to kind of happen more. I wouldn't say I'm enjoying those things, but it's at least more interesting, so. By far, my least favorite Stephen King. Okay, now I'm prepared to give you real thoughts on Mr. Mercedes. I'm going to give this two stars. <sighs> One, I feel like nothing happened other than in the first chapter and the last 30%. And this isn't even that long for a Stephen King book. I think part of my problem is that you immediately know who the killer is and you're getting his perspective and it's just terrible there's no mystery element we're just like listening to this piece of crap talk and then we're getting the perspective of this detective that's like trying to figure out something we already know for the entire thing so like i think if we weren't getting such a terrible person's point of view or if we didn't know who the the bad guy was like i don't know something about this i didn't like and like every single page was like the fat ex-cop or whatever the n-word is in here which i mean i know stephen king does a lot unnecessarily <sighs> this book just like i don't know i wanted this so this is like a crime fiction i wanted it to be more of a mystery um i wanted to be guessing who this like murderer is or something something else but yeah this is definitely my least favorite that I have read from Stephen King. Not that I read a lot, but I'm sad about it. And like the thing is, I know Michelle likes Stephen King, so I don't know if she liked this one or if she gave it to me to trick me. But I also can't see her really enjoying the dry that much either. into Scythe. This is the fastest I have read any of the books for this video and so far it is definitely my favorite. YA is not typically something I read but I really enjoy dystopian stuff. So we are following a society that no longer has to deal with natural deaths. So these people are chosen to be Scythes and their goal is pretty much to keep the population under control so they have a quota of people they have to kill every quarter i think and we're following our two main characters citra and rowan and they are both apprentices now so they're training to become scythes in the future so we've been learning a lot about this society and like the art of being a scythe and i'm very much enjoying it it does have me a little stressed like being in this world just knowing that people are just like searching for people that meet certain criteria to just like come and kill them but i mean it's really they do it by the criteria of like 
the deaths nowadays. So like, if I think about that too much, then I'm gonna get really stressed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm enjoying the characters. There's this thing that happened which makes it a little more high stakes. But at the moment, we're mostly just following these two characters while they are training and learning to become a scythe on their own. So those are my thoughts. I would love to finish this today, but yeah, I can't wait to continue with this one. So yesterday I had a really long car ride and I got to 60% in the children on the hill. I think I'm enjoying it slightly more than Michelle. Um, I wasn't super invested in it until I got about a third into it and then some interesting things started to happen, but I am not obsessed. So we are following a lady in the present and the past and in the past she lives at this hospital that her gram owns and things are just kind of suspicious and then like her gram brings home this random girl that now lives with them but she has some like weird scars and doesn't remember any of her past and then in the present storyline the same lady we're assuming is now a monster hunter she has a podcast and was on a TV show and all this stuff. Um, and she's investigating these disappearances that she thinks might have something to do with her sister. So 60% in, I don't have any strong feelings, but I would say I'm enjoying it. I have now finished Scythe. This by far was my favorite of the three that Michelle gave me. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to rate it. I literally just finished it, but there were a lot of things I enjoyed about it. There were just some things that I think it's because it's YA that I'm like, but I'm really glad that I finally read this one. I still am convinced that this one is a five star for Michelle. I really enjoyed a lot of the different topics that this discussed. I'm also not sure if I'm not obsessed with it because it's a series and it very much like read like one. So for me, there was just a lot of like really slow moments because they're like setting everything up. And then the end, like you can tell that there's going to be another book which like is the point but I personally like when they wrap up a little bit more I think it's going to be four stars but I will continue with the series I think I know this is so popular and it has incredible reviews and I definitely do think it was worth the hype but I think I wanted a little more from it for this entire novel we are following our two characters pretty much like training to become a scythe. We see them interact with different scythes in the community. I think certain ones were very interesting. I was shocked by some things. I don't know how to talk about this <laughs> because like I don't know what to say other than like they're training to become a scythe. Like they're practicing killing, they're practicing like learning poisons and things like that and then like the more interesting stuff I can't really talk about because it happens later and there's spoilers but I am glad that I finally read this I probably would not have read it anytime soon even though it is on my TBR or was I do think I'm going to settle with four stars but with the fact that like I'm going to probably continue with the series I say that is a success so our buddy raid for this is the children on the hill which I mentioned in a clip or two ago, and I have an hour and 40 minutes left at my listening speed, so I'm going to get to that. I'm on sprints with Monica, Michelle, and Rye, but maybe I'll be able to finish The Children on the Hill tonight, depending on how late we're going. So I'll probably talk to you when I'm at the end of that, because I'm already 60 or 70 percent in. I have not finished The Children on the Hill, but I'm gonna predict what I think Michelle thought of these books now while I'm thinking about it. So for me, uh, I did not like Mr. Mercedes. Two stars for me. The dry was like kind of boring but like average so I gave that one three stars and Scythe is four stars. I predict that Michelle gave Scythe five stars 
and I think she gave Mr. Mercedes five stars too. I know she likes Stephen King and I know she hasn't been getting into thrillers until recently. So this one was like probably boring. Oh, so I that's see. my prediction. So you finished when my she sends me her video I'm gonna with let her you actual know. thoughts. <laughs> I will what watch I thought that about and these. React so I give you it, Scythe, I think Mr. She didn't Mercedes, like the drive. and The Drive. They are all part of the series. Yeah. I did not mean for that to happen, but uh, it happened. So let's start with Scythe. I read Scythe pretty much when it came out and immediately gave it five stars. This is actually where we found Rowan's name. So I love Scythe. If you ended up liking Scythe, I don't know. I do say to go to Thunderhead and skip the toll. Just would skip the toll and but just read Thunderhead. I am hoping that you like this one. I know that it's YA but like it's such an interesting concept. I just absolutely love this. I actually met Neil Schusterman at Y'all Fest and I've had to sign it. I've read this like three times. So I'm hoping this is like the one I'm hoping that you liked the most. So the fun fact is this is where we got Rowan's name. That's it. Um, next is Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. I absolutely love this series. Listen, you read it. So the part with his mom in this one, disgusting. I will say that my favorite one is the second one. That's Find Your Keepers. It's so good. The audiobook is so, it will stay with me forever. I just love this series. I read this series right after I read 112263. So obviously it was completely different from that and like a lot grosser too. Uh, but I love this one. And I like from watching you read it, don't think you liked it. That's totally valid. Last but not least is The Dry by some lady. I can't even remember her name. Absolutely hated this one. It was like the title so dry the most boring thriller i have ever read I ended up giving this two stars back when i was like nice i feel like now that i'm like a, a nicer reviewer if you will i still would have gotten like one or two stars it's just absolutely nothing good about that book people love it can you tell me why i have no idea so that's the wrap up I hope that you liked at least one of these books. <laughs> that would make me feel great. So last but not least, The Children on the Hill took me a while to get into, but I would say maybe like 60% in something happens and I got really, really sucked in and I thought the twist was really good that I wasn't I absolutely was not seeing this twist coming. Ended up giving it four stars. I know we haven't talked about it a lot, but I really like that one. Um, so that's it. This was a fun project. If you want to do it again, let me know. I feel like it would be hard because it was so hard not talking about these books with you, but that's it. I was right. Um, sorry, I got really close. I'm pretty sure I said that Michelle wouldn't like the dry because it was boring and I predicted she liked the other two. Do not relate on Mr. Mercedes, but it's okay. But like that part she was talking about, that was like the most <laughs> interesting thing that happened for me. But one, I am so glad that I did this with Michelle. Like it's been so much fun. Two, I'm so glad I was right. I haven't finished The Children on the Hill yet, but I can see it being four stars. I mean, obviously I'll talk to you still, but I'm impatient and wanted to watch this. I'm so glad it was right. Okay, that's all. I can't believe I didn't put the fact that your child's name is Rowan together with this while I was reading. I'm currently on sprints with Michelle, so it's very fitting that I'm going to wrap this video up. I just finished The Children on the Hill. I really ended up enjoying it. I'm going to give it four stars, and I know Michelle did too, so that's fun. I think that the beginning was a little slow for me, and the end was incredible. So yeah, I thought this had a lot of interesting things in it 
but for me it just was not the perfect read. It's very similar to my experience with The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon, so I want to read more from this author, but I'm curious if this will be my general experience with her or what. So that's that. And now I've read everything for this video. So I personally gave Mr. Mercedes two stars, The Dry three stars, and Scythe four stars. Scythe by far was my favorite and the only one of these three series that I will be continuing in. If you are not already subscribed to Michelle, her channel will be linked down below and also her version of this video is going to be linked as well. So make sure you check that out to see which books I gave her to read and what she thought of them and what I thought of them. <laughs> But Michelle is absolutely incredible. She's one of my favorite people. I'm so glad that I met her through booktube and bookstagram. Doing this has been so difficult to not talk about these books, but such a fun experience. And I'm so glad she agreed to be my guinea pig for starting this series type thing. So yes, please make sure you check out Michelle. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And let me know if there's a specific booktuber you would be interested in seeing me do this with. I think that's all. Definitely go check out Michelle's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!